Hi everyone, I've got a dilemma and I would need your help deciding what to do next. So here's the problem. As you can see behind me, I've got lots of echeverias that are quite mature and they are getting quite tall and leggy. And some of them are due a beheading or a reset. But I've been pushing it back for quite a while now because I wanted them to grow a bit more. Especially since it was their growing season and I think it still is. So the question is, do you think I should chop them now or should I wait until next spring? Spring would be sometime in September, June, July, August. Yes, September and still quite a while. That's a lot of months. So by then, they might have, they might grow a bit more, but the problem is they might fall over or do all sorts of stuff. And I want them to be as healthy as they can get for spring. So here's the dilemma. I could either chop them now or chop them in spring. The difference would be if I chop them now, they would have to endure the colder days. That means they would be growing a lot slower. And if, I, if I'm not careful about my watering, then they might succumb to rot. On the other hand, if I leave them now and defer the chop until spring, then that means that they would be growing perfectly fine now but some of them would be at risk of falling over because they're getting quite tall now and I would be missing the opportunity for lots of propagations because as you know the freelies mostly propagate from head cuts it's not that I'm afraid to chop I've already done it several times and a couple of the most recent instances would be my afterglow and the barbellion it took about three or four weeks before the head started rooting again and that was during spring or summer the growing season but compared to back then this time with this ones it would probably take me at least a month because it's getting a lot colder the other thing you have to take note when chopping the plants is that the main rosette the head they would be shrinking a bit because at first they would be conserving all of their growth for to regrow the roots and to establish the root system so that means that for a while they would not be growing the leaves growing new growth as vigorously as before and they would be shrinking overall is the size of the rosette so I'm all about having large rosettes and this makes me hesitant so I guess I guess it should be alright. Please let me know what you think. I think I already know what I want to do, but I just needed that little extra push, a little convincing from you guys. Maybe a bit of, you know, sanity check. So with all of that said, I'll see you in the comments and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Going down. <laughs>